About one hour to the east of Baobao, the capital of Bhutan in southeast Sulawesi, is a village called Wakalkili. Just to the north of Wakalkili is an area of uh, customary forest managed by the community, which has been held by them for perhaps a hundred years. And the conservation of this area next to the Lambosango Forest is part of the contract that has been worked out between the villagers and the Operation Wallacea Trust. Under this contract, successful conservation of the forest allows the villagers to access higher than normal sale price for their coffee. And this coffee is then taken to the UK and is now on sale in every university shop. Butler Sili, one of the village farmers, explains how they harvest the, the ripe berries in July, then they dry them for about a week in the sun, and then they pound them, and this removes the skin, which then is sieved away. We were lucky to have Sumario Sumajo as part of the team, a former World Bank staff who's an expert on coffee. Uh, having a look at the coffee garden here belongs to the local community. Actually, the potential is there, but probably until now the maintenance uh, probably has not been done properly. I think uh, to increase the productivity, there should be a program. Uh, probably we may call it a rehabilitation program. Usually, where a good program like this, rehabilitation of this existing coffee garden, after five years, you see the productivity may increase up to 50%. We trekked into the customary forest and found that although trees are certainly being cut, there's still a lot of very large, useful species still standing. Dr. Eddie Poruanto, the head of the Operation Wallace here, class in Bhutan, and some of the villagers explained some of the management of the forest. This is natural forest, about 250 hectares in extent and about one or two kilometers from the Lambosango forest block. The villagers still use their uh, traditional management systems with traditional chiefs who determine the rules and from whom permission has to be sought if a tree is going to be cut down. Pat Lassili took us to see a tree that he'd cut down about a year ago. It had taken him two days to process with his son and from this he got about 25 planks to help him build a new house. Back at Wakalkili village it seemed as though everybody had turned out for a party. Since we weren't exactly looking our best when we came out of the forest, we were dressed up appropriately and after the entertainment had finished there was a chance to give speeches to express mutual appreciation of the others. There were the traditional chiefs in the audience as well as the administrative chiefs and heads of different agencies within the village as well as scores of children who had been let out of school to witness the event. The proceedings finished when I gave the administrative and traditional chief of the village packets of the jungle coffee which I brought from the UK. After the group photo, Eddie Poruanto gave a final summary. We are Operation Wallace Trust is very happy that uh, because of our effort and also uh, Wakaukuli effort, Pa Disa and Pa Parabella, finally we can uh, export the coffee from Wakaukuli to UK and know the benefit of the export can be enjoyed by the whole community in Wakaukili village.